episode of Hidden in the Universal Vault. I'm Ryan, your host, and I thought this time we go ahead, we go ahead and take a look at another, another thriller. Well, this time that thriller being 2000's Watcher. The movie stars James Spader, Marissa Tomei, Keanu Reeves, and Ernie Hudson. Let's go ahead and read what the plot's about. Now I'm going to read, starting, I'm going to read what the back plot says and I'll get, I'll talk about the thoughts on the film. Here's what it says. After a year of pursuing psych, psychopathic killers in Los Angeles, FBI agent Joel Campbell, which is James Spader, wants out. And now his nemesis, serial killer David Allen Gethin, which is Keanu Reeves, has tracked him all the way to Chicago just to tor torment him. Before each murder, Griffin sends Campbell, 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 a photographer of interest, victims, and dares him to find her before he strikes again. Now, with every clock ticking of the, every, now with every ticking of the clock, and I'm a admitted pers pursue. No, pul an administrating pulse pounding action. Yeah. This stone hard killer turns up the heat, uh, long versus tome. So that's really what the plot's about. I kind of, kind of was more looking at this and not looking at the screen. Okay, so that's basically the plot. Essentially, killer's on the loose in Chicago. He has to find these women who go by the name of Jane Doe, and he just tortures them and he chases them down. Um, so that's what the the Witcher, the not Witcher, the 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 Watcher, the Watcher, the Witcher. They say the Witcher in the movie is actually the Watcher, but this movie is interesting because it is shit set on location in Chicago. What I have read, the cinematography was done by I'm gonna look at it, look at it here again, uh, Michael Chapman. And if that name's not familiar, he did another Chicago Chicago story, Andrew Davis's The Fugitive. A movie for Andrew Davis, and that was called *The Fugitive* in 1993. So this movie, no, this movie is no *Fugitive*. *Fugitive*, great movie. This movie's no *Fugitive*, and it's just it's it's mediocre. It's okay. I don't see myself go back to this one again, but I'm glad I watched it. But it's not as terrible as the previous film I covered this month, *Devil*, which *Devil* tried to be a thriller but failed. This movie right here is more of a thriller. Also, he his boss, uh, Ernie Hudson, plays the lead FBI agent who's like his boss. The acting is really, really solid. From the two other actors, I have to bring up Keanu Reeves because I said this many times. I do not like Keanu Reeves. I think he's the worst actor in Hollywood. He's basically the problem that I have with Anne Hathaway as an actress. Him and Anne Hathaway cannot act. Every single scene of the film is like that, or how you do it, have you figured this out? There are some really good moments in it, like, there's a good moments that Keanu Reeves, but he just cannot, he tries so hard to be that good, but fails every time I watch a film he's in. So far, the only movie I liked that he actually was good in it was Parenthood. That movie, that movie, he was actually good in that film. But when it comes to anything else he's made for Universal, he's just not good. I will. That's the thing why I never sat down and watched the John Wick movies, because if Keanu's acting's bad, it's going to be a chore to get past the John Wick films. I've seen a ton of his movies, but every single... Dialogue is so low, tubular, excellent! I want more of that excellent! Party on, dudes! That kind of can of reads that I miss in the 80s. But he was good like that, but I'm not going to do my whole can of reads. But James Fair and Marissa Tomei, really good. Now, I've covered Marissa Tomei film before, King of Staten Island. Fantastic in that film. Marissa Tomei is good in this, but not as good as that. Not as good as that, not as good as that masterpiece, but she is okay. She's okay in this. Russo May is always good in anything. You give her a role, even the mediocre films, she's good in that no matter what. 
The problem with Watcher is it got very boring near the third half. The third half just felt more like an action picture. It didn't really feel I wasn't really thrilled at all. I liked the first half. The first half was fantastic. I mean, Keanu Reeves, he's a total creep in the film. He's a creepster. He he's a slime bag. He he loves women and he, he at times he feels like a pedophile. That's really what his character is in this movie. And for that, I mean I give them credit. Sorry if I did that, but I give him credit. And like I said, this could be a solid performance if he didn't talk like that. I don't fault the writers, but if you would have gave it to a different a different actor, actor had more oomph into it, maybe like a Ben Affleck or Matt Damon, this movie would have been a masterpiece. So unfortunately, this movie falls into the okay slash mediocre pile of films. And I don't really think that I'm going to ever probably ever watch this again. So, like I said, everything's good. I mean, Michael Chapman, talk about cinematographer. Talk about a really good cinematographer. It actually was shot in Chicago. They filmed in 99, so they did it around October, fall of 99, from like October to near the end of Christmas of 99. So this movie was filmed in 99. This movie did not get until a fall release. I was thinking this was going to be a summer movie. Maybe like a May or a June release. But, you know, who knows? So, now I'm going to get right away because now I'm at two bars right now. So, final verdict. Um, before I get to final verdict, um, I'm going to read the, the taglines on here. I forgot to show off what's on here. In terms of special features, you only get the trailer. Sadly, you don't get making of or anything like that. A super thriller. Richard Roper, Ibram Roper in the movies. They got a split decision. And strap yourselves in. Enjoy the ride. Fort Lauderdale Sun Sentinel. I don't know who said that blurb. But in terms of that, I just put it in the right case. I kind of like the cover art. It looks kind of cool. And you got Keanu smiling. You got Keanu smiling in the back. You just get the trailer. Open the case, you get a scene card, and you get some pretty good discard. I think the discard may be the best part about though. So I kind of wanted to show off that. So kind of like my version of unboxing stuff. So now that I showed you off everything, I did watch production notes. There's actually some pretty cool DVD ROM features, but I don't think they work in today's modern computers. So anyways, now that I talk about that, let's let's go on. So yeah, final verdict, should you see The Watcher? Um, no. Honestly, you're not missing out on anything. I say if, you, if you're if you a big die, if you're a diehard Keanu Reeves fan, or if you want to see a movie, if you want to see a pre-John Wick, before John Wick, because essentially his character feels a lot like John Wick if John Wick was the villain. Essentially, if John Wick had no beard, and he was a villain. So if you want to see if you want to see a pre John Wick, definitely check it out. If you're a big Keanu Reeves fan, you might like this more. For me, Keanu Reeves kind of made this movie just mediocre. I don't know if I don't know if I'm going to cover any more of his movies. I don't think I'm going to cover Forty Seven Ronin because after seeing for this, it's going to be hard to sit through Forty Seven Ronin. But you may, your mileage may vary is what I should say. I say if you see this dirt cheap on Wawa, Wah, you rent it for Redbox. If you see it on uh, YouTube Movies, it's a, maybe it's available on YouTube Movies for free with the ads. You might want to check it out. But for anybody else, I say probably just pass on this movie. Hard pass. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to keep this movie. This definitely... Just like Devil, I'm not sure. Well, Devil's going away. I'm just going to give it away right now. I'm, I'm uploading the video right now, but we'll, we'll just we'll just leave it that. So, yeah, I say skip Watcher. There are tons of other better thrillers out there that you could be watching. So, I'm sorry to get much into it, though. I just, Watcher just became mediocre. It didn't really, I... Honestly, with the cover art, again, this is a movie I had on VHS, then replaced with a DVD copy, like I said again, or 
if you ever get it free from Mill Creek, I'm sure a lot of YouTubers got this for free from Mill Creek. So, yeah, um, so I'm going to cut off right now. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my social media pages and come back next week for the next review. Bye.